A portal to hell in the middle of Manhattan. A portal to another world. Digital portrait of the ethereal space princess. 4K photo. CG society. What if I told you those weren't from Dal E2? I really thought Dal E2 would dominate once released, but it seems this new AI art generator is a real threat to Dal E2. Here are a few more examples from it presented by my AI assistant. The Garden of Metroid Prime Pathfinder of Luminescent Ethereal Alchemy Crystalline Fractals, Matte Painting Nonix Monolith. Stardew Valley Girl A Galaxy Emoji with an Eye Emoji Needlepoint Sunset Comerby Needlepoint Underwater Jungle in Stardew Valley Monsoon Season Needlepoint Naturescape Environment Painting Immanentize the Eshetan so what is this new AI art generator? Well, it's called Midjourney. This AI model can generate images from the written text, just like Dal E2. But the funny thing is that there is nothing more to learn about this model other than that. Even in Wikipedia, this leads us to the following question. Was Midjourney built on Dal E2 API or something? Because it's as good as Dal E2 and there is nothing enough revealed about it. The answer to this is no. Here is why. First, if it's built using Dal E2 API, then its outputs will have Dal E2 mark at the right bottom corner. But Midjourney AI model outputs don't have one. I know that's a minor thing, but the second most important thing that proves Midjourney is not made from Dal E2 is that there is nothing called Dal E2 API yet. What I mean by that is there are already a lot of companies who have access to Dal E2. Why none of them build an AI art generator such as Midjourney or something close to it? Plus, and the third last reason, Dali 2 has very restricted policies for using its AI art generator. Now let my AI assistant show you why Midjourney is such a promising AI model by showing some of its mind-blowing generations. Here you go. College potions rendered in Cree engine. Ethereal alien of frost with a realistic face. Photography. Inside the hollow earth garden lays dormant the ancient Warven starship. 3D realistic materials, photorealistic, chromatic, matte painting, trending on Oort Station in the style of Silent Hill. A Pandora's Matrix. Deep sea monsters in the dark. Megalovania use Yumaki Kraken lurking in the depths below. Subnautical Leviathan, matte painting. A face constructed from shiny metallic cuboids, Beeple. Ring of Fire, magic, fantasy, artifact, digital painting, trending on Oort Station. The narrow alleyways of Shockwave City. The Sanctuary of the Rising Sun by Yasu Tamaoka. A photorealistic depiction of an imagined sanctuary. Uh, I think we forgot something very important. What about Midjourney Access? It seems to be just like Dal E2. You just need to register for access. It's simple, here is how. Just go to this URL and apply for beta access. After you get your access, sign in using this button. Then you can start using it in a form of a Discord bot. That's it. But wait, how about a nice comparison between Dell E2 outputs and Midjourney outputs? That's here. Thank you for watching.